Okay guys, Carlos here. Moonport Modelers, 19th of September, Saturday morning, 9.23 a.m. The only people here is Dave and myself. Both instructors. I, uh, I have here, uh, I'm on 42 and somebody's on 12. And I have the Amplified. Take off the Amplified. Now there's channel 38, 39, and 42, and 12. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 12 looks like disappeared. And if, uh, yeah, if I put the Amplified, uh, it, it uh, tags on. Uh, see if it comes around. Just checking the, the spectrum. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm, all, I'm clear on, on 42. Great. All right. It's a handy little device just to make sure nobody else is on the same channel. I got uh, channel 42 Skyport from uh, Futaba. Uh, and this is an LT40 underneath us. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the pre flight check. You okay or you're landed? Okay. Uh oh. oh this thing's heavy, man. Yeah. Woo! Let's see here. Let's check the, the power on this thing. Sounds good. All right, taking off. She's airborne. Oh yeah, gentle giant in the air. Cutting back in the power. She's got five cells, 4,000 milliamp power, lithium polymers. She's got a, a 41 millimeter motor brushless called the Thrust 50. And the only place that you probably could get it is probably in Australia somewhere, or United Kingdom. And it's got a quantum 70 amp ESC, or no, excuse me, a 65 amp ESC. And it's doing just delightful up there. You don't need any more power than this. Okay, low pass. That rudder really is a very effective. Come on in. There you go. This is the first flight ever since I got her. I bought it from a gentleman in <clears throat> Orlando, Florida and she is handling very nicely with no expo no uh dual rates nothing just uh plain as could be i'm going to gain some altitude and see what what she could do here seventy two megahertz futaba skyport four fm seventy two megahertz yes 
Okay, let's see what she could do. I'm going to gain a little altitude. Now speed. And then loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And then a roll rate. Roll, roll, yes. Does everything you want it. And then some. She is heavy, though. I got the brick five cell in there. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been nickel metal hydride subseas, right? From the olden days. But she's doing great. And it is a little wet, breezy today. Nothing, nothing seems to be phasing her at all. Hope I got in the viewfinder. How slow can she go?